Hello, my name is Amekowitz Skysiv, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a tapered beam design using Structural 3D and Section Builder. Um, we're going to be following along with this tutorial here, and we'll be referencing this as we go along. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate over to Structural 3D. And we're just going to start a new project. And so following along with the tutorial here, the first thing we're going to want to do is just model out the nodes and member. So we're only going to really have one right now. And technically, we could just design the section as is, but um, it's just good practice to have this laid out. So when we actually want to view the beam, uh, we can have an example of what it looks like. So we'll just use a pen tool for this. I'm going to drop one there and one here. And so it's already gone ahead and actually defined that member for me as well. So what I'll do is just navigate over here to the members and just double check. Okay, so section ID one, that's correct. So that should be good to go. Um, then we're going to move on to the next stage, which is um, defining the actual section ID. So what I want to do here is go back, actually open sections here. Um, and we're just going to name this taper beam. It's going to want some dummy values here for now. I'm just going to put unit values for now. Now that we've gone to that part, we're ready to actually enter section builder. So we'll open this right here. And so we'll move to the next stage here. Now that we're in uh, section builder, what we're going to want to do is, you know, just open a database shape. And then using that, we're going to define essentially what the both end depths are going to look like. Um, for this one specifically, uh, right now, uh, taper beams, we can do them for I beams, we can do them for rectangular and hollow sections. Um, we can also do them for T beams. So what I'll show you today is just how to do it with an I beam, but the process and procedure is pretty much the same for all of them. Um, so what I'll do now, um, I'm going to state, so I'll do this, I'm just going to use a simple W shape. Um, and since I want to show you, you know, make it really clear, I'll just do a pretty large section to begin with. So we'll just do this is a 12 by 14. So now that we've done that, we're ready to move to the next step. So what we're going to actually do is go to this taper tab and we're going to want to select non prismatic. So taper, non prismatic, and now all these options um, open up. So what we can do is we can actually, you know, define a lot of these different values and you, know, you can go to documentation and read more about what these are. We have a uh, like this basically explains, but essentially you can think of this as segments that it's cutting along the beam. And so we can kind of like, the more we define it, the more uh, very specific and detailed it gets, but then the longer it's going to take to generate a model. So four seems to be the minimum we want to go with. And so we'll kind of leave it at that. Um, but the next thing we're going to want to do is choose an end shape. So I'll say choose end shape and we'll just go for W4 by 13. That seems to be the smallest. We'll go submit. And now what you're seeing here, um, that's going to be just defining the depth variation. So this is showing where it starts and then kind of like a rough estimate of where it's going to end. And so we can define this from the bottom. We can define this from the top down and we can also define it, you know, coming from both ends. So what I'll do for this specific example is we'll just go from the bottom up. And then the next thing we can actually do is we can click here and see view summary and clicking this will kind of show us an example of, okay, this is the first depth. And then this is what the second one looks like. Right, so we can close that out. But once we've finished with this, it's as simple as just going here. And then when we click submit, this is going to um, upload or import all the stuff we've done here back into structural 3D. So we'll hit submit. Now those values have been imported. And so if we want to see what that looks like in real time, we can click this right here. Okay, it says, just ignore that for now. Okay, it looks like we defined, so we defined section two as a tapered beam. So what I'll actually do is just go to members here and for our member here, we're going to switch this. So this is this is just section one, just a basic section. When we go to section two, we'll be able to see what the tapered beam looks like. So when I hit apply, now we have that tapered beam section. So we can go back to section one. It's just a simple, you know, defined section. And now we can actually see that taper from 
the longer to the much shorter beam. And obviously this one's at the top. What we can show is if we go back to section builder, and say I was to define this now going from the top to bottom, we hit submit. Now you can see this one, you can see the difference. Now this one's starting from the top and it's ending at the bottom of the beam. So yeah, that's basically how you go through and design tapered sections um, using SkySiv 3D. Thank you.